Wei Han was a young man who had everything he could ever want. He lived in a big house, went to a good school, and had loving parents. But there was one thing Wei Han lacked, gratitude. Every day, Wei Han's mother would make him a delicious breakfast before school. Instead of saying thank you, Wei Han would just grunt and eat quickly. When his father drove him to school, Wei Han would play on his phone without a word of appreciation. At school, Wei Han's attitude was no different. When his friend Mei helped him with a difficult math problem, Wei Han simply said, It's about time you figured it out. Mei frowned. You know, Wei Han, a thank you wouldn't hurt. Wei Han rolled his eyes. Why should I thank you? It's your job as my friend to help me. This was how Wei Han lived his life, always expecting others to do things for him without showing any gratitude. One day, Wei Han's teacher, Mr. Li, announced a special project. Class, for the next week, you'll be volunteering at the local community center. You'll help serve meals to the elderly and assist with various activities. Wei Han groaned loudly. Why do we have to do this? It's not our job to take care of old people. Mr. Li looked at Wei Han with disappointment. Wei Han, sometimes the best way to learn is by helping others. You might be surprised by what you discover. The following Monday, Wei Han arrived at the community center, still grumbling about having to be there. He was assigned to help serve lunch to the elderly residents. As Wei Han half-heartedly handed out trays of food, an old man with a kind face looked up at him. Thank you, young man, he said with a warm smile. Wei Han was taken aback. He hadn't done anything special, just handed the man a tray of food. Why was he being thanked? Throughout the week, Wei Han noticed something strange. Every time he did something, no matter how small, the elderly residents would thank him. They thanked him for bringing them water, for helping them with puzzles, even for just sitting and talking with them. On the last day of the project, Wei Han met an elderly woman named Mrs. Zhang. As he helped her with her knitting, she began to tell him her life story. You know, young man, Mrs. Zhang said, her eyes twinkling. I've lived a long life, and I've learned that the secret to happiness is gratitude. Wei Han looked confused. Gratitude? Why? Mrs. Zhang smiled. When you're grateful, you appreciate what you have instead of always wanting more. It makes you happier and more compassionate. She continued, I thank people not just because it's polite, but because I truly appreciate their actions. Even small acts of kindness deserve recognition. Wei Han thought about this. He had never considered gratitude as something important before. Mrs. Zhang patted his hand. Try it for a week. Thank people for everything they do for you, no matter how small. See how it changes your life. Wei Han nodded, intrigued by the idea. The next day, Wei Han decided to take Mrs. Zhang's advice. When his mother served him breakfast, he said, Thank you, Mom. This looks delicious. His mother's eyes widened in surprise. Then she smiled brightly. You're welcome, Wei Han. I'm glad you like it. In the car, Wei Han turned to his father. Thanks for driving me to school, Dad. I appreciate it. His father almost swerved in shock. Well, thank you, son. It's my pleasure. At school, Mei helped Wei Han with another math problem. This time, Wei Han said, Thanks, Mei. You're a great friend. Mei beamed at him. Wow, Wei Han. What's gotten into you? Wei Han shrugged. I'm just trying something new. As the week went on, Wei Han noticed changes. His parents seemed happier and more eager to help him. His friends were nicer to him. Even his teachers smiled at him more often. But the biggest change was in Wei Han himself. He felt happier and more satisfied. He started noticing all the good things in his life that he had taken for granted before. At the end of the week, Wei Han visited the community center again. He found Mrs. Zhang and told her about his experiences. Mrs. Zhang, you were right, Wei Han said excitedly. Showing gratitude has changed everything. I feel so much happier, and people are nicer to me, too. Mrs. Zhang smiled warmly. I'm glad you learned this lesson, Wei Han. Gratitude is like a magical key that opens hearts, both yours and others. From that day on, Wei Han made gratitude a part of his daily life. He thanked his parents, his friends, 
his teachers, and even strangers who held the door open for him. He began to appreciate the little things in life. A sunny day, a good meal, a kind word. Weihan realized that the world hadn't changed, he had. By being grateful, he had opened his eyes to all the goodness that had always been around him. He learned that gratitude not only made others feel appreciated, but also filled his own heart with joy and contentment. As Weihan walked home that evening, he looked up at the sky and whispered, Thank you, life, for teaching me this valuable lesson. And in that moment, Weihan knew he had become a better person, all because he had learned the power of two simple words. Thank you. Dan zi. Gratitude gan xie. Noun. The feeling or quality of being grateful. Grunt. Ren tong chang yin wei fen nu huo teng tong er. Fa chu heng sheng. Du nang zhe shuo. Gu nu. Verb. Of a person to make a short, low sound instead of speaking, usually because of anger or pain. Grumble. Fa lao sao. Bao yuan. Verb. To complain about someone or something in an annoyed way. Take someone aback. Shi mo ren. Da chi yi jing. Phrasal verb. To surprise or shock someone so much that they do not know how to behave for a short time. Recognition. Cheng ren. Ren ke. Noun. Agreement that something is true or legal. Take something or someone for granted. Shi. Wei li so dang ran. Er bu chu biao shi gan ji. Phrase. If you take situations or people for granted, you do not realize or show that you are grateful for how much you get from them.